let's just say it's been a pretty intense uh, week <laughs> spiritually. And so, yes, there is, there's much to, to discuss, as that was said yesterday, but we are not going to be able to talk about it all. Um, but Jesus is, he's getting everything ready, and he already has it ready, but it's just a matter of everything to align, you know, in the right timing, the divine timing of Christ for everything. It's a big circle, you know, and Jesus... He loves his children. Like, I wish that everyone could know it. Like, I want everyone to know it. Because it's such a sweet, innocent love. So grateful. So the title of this page is Not Ashamed. Imagine your best friend is drowning in the middle of the lake and you're standing on the bank with an inner tube and a rope. But instead of throwing it to her, you try to hide it behind your back, sheepishly, because you are ashamed that your inner tube may not be what she needs in this moment, or that it is inadequate to meet her needs. <laughs> All the while she's grasping for air, her head dangerously close to going under for good. At this point, she doesn't care if your inner tube is pink or in the shape of a unicorn or even deflated a little. She'll take anything you've got Yet you still hold out on her, unwilling to give her the very thing that will save her life. How absurd would that be? You would never just sit there and watch her drown, knowing that you have just what she needs to be rescued. Your instincts would kick in and you would do whatever it took to get your friend to safety. Jesus recognized the absurdity of hiding our life-giving light. When he preached the Sermon on the Mount, he challenged his followers to let their light shine, mentioning how pointless it would be to hide their light under a bowl. The Apostle Paul echoed this message when he said, We should not, cannot, will not be ashamed of what Christ has done for us, especially because we know that it has the power to save others just as it did for us. If we have a true life-changing encounter with Jesus, then there is no reason why we should not be willing to take his light and allow it to shine for others to see. This is Romans chapter 1 verse 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Jesus, we are not ashamed of what you have done for us. Thank you for your gift of salvation and <laughs> embolden us to shine. is just on its own. It's moving. And it's like literally the train, the Zion sign on the train. Spiritually, God showed me that it was like boarding a train and to to get to the Holy Land. And it is done, that is done spiritually through the kingdom. But physically, there are going to be changes there's going to be a shift. And so this is the shift of the physical matter in areas that it's currently not. And it's like, it's a balance. It's something, I mean, if you think of it in metaphysics, it's like, it's a, it switches. So it's something that's, it's like science fiction. <laughs> like, that's what it is. It's like, I don't even know. Anyway, but God has the plan and he knows everything and we have pieces of the plan and you know we're just following God's way and you know any shortcomings that we had any things that we did that were you know blasphemous to Jesus he forgave us because we are repenting and we are forging a path toward him 
and truth and this is the this is the way for the people that are in this season like who are getting on the train to Zion it's kind of like you've just been through it so much that you have no other choice <laughs> it's been it's been them ascension ascension thank you Jesus yes it is true it is true all right this woman must move on to do other things for her children. <laughs> but I love you all, and I just I pray to God that the Holy Spirit you know, fills your life, every aspect of it, every part of it. That it's just you are blessed by Jesus, you know, from any darkness. I pray to God that that darkness is removed in Jesus' name, for there is only truth, love, and light in this person who is watching that, so they are able to ascend and heal with Christ. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Mwah.